Well, hello friends, welcome to Maria Smiselli. With this video, I am so excited to share this haul, okay? So this haul <laughs> is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and it is a Goodwill Blue Box haul. Now, if you're not familiar with the Goodwill Blue Box, I will actually go ahead and link their um, website below. Um, basically, if you've seen the jars that some Goodwills have with like their jewelry that they're de-stashing pretty much, um, that's basically what the blue box is. But what they do is that every Friday afternoon, um, I think I want to say 3 o'clock Eastern, but um, again, the information will be in the, in the link, they restock and you have the chance to purchase um, basically five pounds of costume jewelry for uh it is now $34.99 it used to be $29.99 the price recently went up uh, but i think they raised the price of first of all because it was so popular that they were literally selling out within minutes i mean minutes of posting it and i'm talking not about like 10 minutes i'm talking about like two or three minutes because several times for several weeks i was trying to uh purchase uh you know, a, a lot, and um, I would get the, uh, I would ha set, set my alarm for when, you know, they restocked, went on, put the box in my cart, and for some reason, I was having issues with my, um, my Google Pay, or whatever it was I was using to pay, <laughs> and it took me a while to click through, and by the time I went to, like, finish paying, it was already sold out, and it said, sorry, the item has been removed from your cart because it's no longer available, and I'm like, what? This happened several weeks in a row, and then I stopped trying, and then when I said, well, let me try again, it had gone up by $5, but it's really, so I hesitated to do it, but I, I gotta say, I've already looked through everything, at least once really quickly just because I didn't have a chance to do to record a video when I opened it but and I couldn't wait <laughs> but uh, it's definitely worth it so it's $34.99 plus $5 shipping so for $40 you get everything that you see here now um, if I were to piece out each item at say if, let's say if I had gone through yard sales or, or even Goodwill or whatever and purchased some of these items like a dollar piece 50 cents a piece whatever I would still have you know my money's worth here but some of these pieces as you will see are definitely worth a lot more than that so let me get into it um i think i have all the items here still i want to say that i had started to separate some items to put in my booth but i think i have everything here all right so let me move <laughs> some of this stuff over and it, it started to be organized but then um i was actually sharing it with a friend on video chat and um I don't know if I put everything back where I originally had it. So I'm just going to start grabbing um, in no particular order. Okay. First of all, is this the most adorable thing you've ever seen? I have never seen anything like this. It's just a little ring, but it's a little bird. Look how cute it is. And it is a bit tarnished and stuff. It's actually not too bad, but it is so, so adorable. So I am going to put this on right now. And you're going to get to enjoy them, <laughs> different angles of them, as I open through the rest of the stuff. Okay, let me just start grabbing. Okay, so let's see. Some, Like I said, some of the items are, are tangled again because I just threw them back on my desk. Let's see if we can get them untangled. So this, it even has the tags still. It says Made in India. It's a little... Uh, belly dancers uh, chain so it goes around your waist all right I gotta detangle and come back okay here we go <laughs> gosh that was quite a bit of a mission to just get that untangled so yeah here we go it's a little belly dancers belt that just hooks closed like this and it's got all these little bells here it's actually not bells it's just little beads it's not that jingly so this one doesn't have bells but it's a pretty little little belt you know for like belly dancer style anyway that's what it looks like to me I don't know what else it could be but it does say India arts made in India so that is one cute item um, where should I hang these I think I need to keep a little that's gonna go in my booth um, then 
right? I should have untangled all at once, right? Sorry. Okay, <laughs> here's another one. This one is pretty cute. Now, this is not like antique or anything. It does have some tarnished little spots, but it's still very wearable and very cute. It's a long necklace. I don't see that it's any particular brand that I can see, but it's it's really cute, and I think it's very, very saleable. So there's that one. And then this one is really neat. It's actually, a, um, I believe they call these lariat necklaces, where it's really just a strand, and then basically to put it on, you just flip this over like this, and then it hangs on your neck like that. So that, that is... Um, how this is there's no clasp or anything you just literally just twist it over uh your neck like that so that is really cute i really like that so so far that's three necklaces that i already love this is kind of neat i think these were popular oh, I, don't, I don't know when uh when i want to say maybe they still are some people wear them i don't know if it's more like a career wear or what have you but it's it's a cool piece neat like a almost like a choker or a very um short necklace and this one too it's just um it would go like this over your neck and it is in pretty decent shape you open it like that and i don't see a brand oh there is a brand can you see it let's see if it's gonna focus i don't see it now, I, I am not knowledgeable on the um, costume jewelry um, brands and things. And that's not wanting to focus. Okay, here we go. Trifari. Is that what it is? Trifari. So that sounds familiar. Trifari. But I, again, I don't know what value it may or may not have. But that is pretty cool. So there's those. I'm going to set those aside here. Then this one I thought was really cool. This one's definitely going into my booth. Unless somebody notifies me that they want it. Um, I want to say that these are made with guitar strings. Is that what this is? Because these look like, to me, they look like they may be guitar strings. They look like a coil, but it's very strong. And I've seen uh, people make jewelry with guitar strings. So I'm thinking that this is what this might be. Um, but don't quote me on that 100%. However, it's really cool, and it is a magnetic clasp, so that is really cool, so it's easy to put on and take off, and um, it's just a pretty necklace. It's just knotted, and um, I want to say it's probably about 16 inches, so that is pretty. Then this one right here, check it out. Just These are just, they feel like probably just plastic beads. Um, and again, the class is not, you know, nothing special, but it is really cute. Several strands, and I can definitely get a couple bucks for here. I know. Uh, there we go. And again, um, I did purchase this lot for resale, but I was also um, aware that maybe there would be some broken jewelry in here that I could use as crafting supplies. Okay, here's another gold. Look at this. It's got this um, uh, toggle clasp. And I was looking for a brand or something. I don't see any brand on it. But it's another neat gold, maybe career wear type um, uh, necklace. And, of course, I've got it all twisted up. So I'm trying to undo it. There we go. That's pretty cool. It's in pretty decent shape. It hasn't lost any of its color that I can tell. So that is really cool. This one is also neat, and I'm sorry that I'm showing it to you sideways, but that's how it fits on the um, screen here. It's like these little bars, and it's a double strand, long and a short. The short, I want to say, is probably like 16 inches. And this is actually, oh, check it out. It's a White House Black Market uh, necklace. So I know I am familiar with that department store, um, but again, I don't know what the value would be. But it is a really cute, cute piece. So I'm going to have it hang over here. And uh, so most of these I'm showing you right now are uh, necklaces. And just as I say that, I started to pull a bracelet. So let me just go over here and grab some more necklaces. There's another. Ooh, something fell. This is going to be a craft bag. 
Let me put this. Let me make a craft bag over here. <laughs> okay, maybe this was the craft bag. I think this was the craft bag. So maybe we'll go. We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. I'm gonna have to get a tray or something so that they don't fall all over the place. Because I did mention I had already started to separate things out. See what's in here. This will probably actually go in the craft bag too, because as I was looking at it, it's a really cute necklace. It even looks a little bit vintagey right but the middle bead is broken see it's just glass beads and the middle bead here is broken so I'm gonna have to take it apart for crafting unless I can figure out how I can just take that out and maybe put a charm or something in there to, to turn it into you know to save the, the necklace itself um, I don't know if anyone has any ideas, let me know. But that's what I'm thinking. If I can figure out a way to just remove that one piece, I might just put a charm in the middle there. But if not, then it'll just turn into a crafting supply piece. So there's that one. These are really cool. They are long earrings and they're screw backs. So I want to say that they might be a little vintage. Cause I don't know that they make these anymore or maybe they do but um, I don't see any markings on it necessarily D don't think it's silver at all it doesn't feel like silver um, you know like sterling silver but um, and I don't know if it's missing any stones do you see any stones missing and I, I see some stones that are dark Is that missing one right there no, I think they're just dark. So, um, not sure, but I think it's really cool. If it is missing some stones, then it'll go in my craft pile. But other than that, I think I could get definitely some, a little bit of money for that one. Then there are a couple of rosaries, which is actually cool with me because my family does pray the rosary. And these are really nice beads. They're glass, white glass beads. And uh, so I am just putting that in our rosary stash. We kind of have a collection. And then here's another one. And these are, these beads I think are also glass or some sort of stone. But yeah, a couple of pretty rosaries there. Then, oh, check out this. Okay, so you're going to see me wearing this too throughout the video. How cute is this? There are these little big blingy gems with uh, bows over them again I don't know if there's any stones missing with so many little stones it's a possibility that there may be a stone missing or so but I think it's just adorably cute and even though this is silver and my bird is gold I don't care <laughs> there it is look how cute is that I love it and speaking of my bird here's my little bag of rings Let's look at the rings. There were a few rings in here. And this one definitely looks like a paparazzi ring. I'm familiar with that because I actually sold paparazzi for a short short time. And you know what? I need to I need to go ahead and sell off those pieces that I have left. Let me know if you would be interested in a paparazzi sale. Um so that I can sell off my paparazzi stuff that I have left. If that is the case, I'll then I will either schedule a live or maybe just do a video where you can tell me what you want to buy. But this, I love paparazzi rings because they're all stretchy and they're just fun rings, you know, just to wear. So I think I'm going to put this one on right here. Why not? Then this one is kind of fun. It's like a big, oh, I thought it was black, but I think it has a blue hint to it now that I'm, see, see how it's, it's, uh, the light going through it is kind of bluish. It's just a cheap old ring, um, probably plastic or glass at best. But you know what? This might be good. Maybe um, actually what my friend was saying with the, some of this jewelry that's kind of quirky and, and odd and big and gaudy, it might be a good um, Halloween costume type uh, jewelry. So I need to get it in my booth because maybe somebody will want some of this stuff as Halloween props, you know, or jewelry. That's a cool ring. I think these used to be in style for a while. It's actually in good shape. I don't see any markings again. Just some costume jewelry. Pretty dome ring. 
then uh, just a little uh, this one does have some sort of marking in it but I don't think it's anything special can you see what it says maybe it's upside down I don't think it's silver or anything I can't tell yeah I don't I don't think it's anything special but it's a cute ring and then there's a couple of these bands that are just rhinestone bands that's cute then a cute little fake stone ring it's one of those adjustable ones and this one is cool too and again it's costume jewelry nothing very special a little tarnished over here but look how cute that is mm, that was real it'd be worth something huh <laughs> but yeah it's it's really cute for a little costume jewelry it's a large size it's even bigger than my middle finger let's see Wow, it even fits on my thumb. So maybe I'll just leave it on my thumb for the rest of the video. What do you think? <laughs> All right, so there go the rings. Okay. Then, let's see what what other fun stuff is here. Oh, let's keep looking at this big bag where I was pulling the necklaces out. There's bracelets in here. Okay, check this baby out. Is that something or what? Look at this. Talk about big and gaudy, right? I love it though. So this is one of the ones that my friend said, oh, you need to put that in your booth right away because somebody might want it for their Halloween, you know? It's just a huge black beads and then this one bead made out of little beads. <laughs> Isn't that terrific? So there's that one. This one looks like a handmade necklace. It's um, paper beads, which I, to this day, not made. It's been on my list of things to try. Um, and then this this is just a little acrylic or plastic bead so it's nicely made actually very lightweight it's got this little toggle clasp here so yeah there's that here's another probably good Halloween type jewelry thing the peace sign with on this um, pearly necklace that's kind of cool huh yeah, if I don't sell this in my booth, I think um, I could add it to a tassel. <laughs> it's already, like, the embellishments are already made that right there. Okay, let's see what else is here. Oh, yeah, I've got to show that in a minute. Check this out. This is interesting. It's a rubber. It almost feels like a like an eraser, this little frog. And then it's on a... Um, orange ball chain and I could not figure out I was actually trying to see and I looked it up if there was something you know special about it because it does have some sort of mark on it but I couldn't make it out it it's like C W or W C uh, U T S I don't know I couldn't figure out that's what I'm looking at W C U T S something I don't know if anybody knows what this is I'd appreciate you telling me but I couldn't figure out if there's you know like some following for this or not but it's just a very interesting uh, little necklace there a frog on a ball chain and then this one looks very um, like vintagey almost but it's just like a little tarnished um necklace you know not not nothing out of this world i was actually thinking of taking this one apart and maybe making several necklaces out, like i could make three necklaces you know making each one of these a focal point um and uh make three necklaces out of it or use it for something else i mean yeah it's it's interesting so that that's how it is and like i said it's kind of tarnished but maybe for for a halloween costume too i don't know that's that's where what that is and isn't it fun just going through this I mean I don't know but I, I'm having fun just looking through it and um, and already uh, I don't know how many pieces I've shown you but as you can tell I have many more to go so already I think that I've gotten my money's worth but wait till you see what else is in here okay so this definitely has some sort of makers mark but again it's so tiny that I cannot make it out can you see it there I, I cannot make it out and I don't have a loop I actually do own a loop but I don't have it with me oh here's another one oh it's Monet 
it's just a Monet piece and I don't think Monet is a big deal but it's it's a cute um, costume jewelry brand I think just very nice and simple big chunky links here is a cool bracelet it's the flower and it looks like it has a little gunk in here that I may need to clean yeah just just a little gunk I'll just I'll just clean that up but other than that it's it's cute maybe I'll wear it on this hand huh <laughs> why not I kind of like it check it out yeah <laughs> all right here is a nice long pearl necklace that is really cool these feel like glass pearls they're knotted in between so that's a nice detail you know shows a little bit better quality than just your you know cheapo pearls but definitely costume jewelry I don't see a brand and the clasp is one of those that you press and uh, slide in there like that so that is really cool I like it but it's a nice long pearl necklace okay what else talk about pearls there's this one these are just white beads really not exactly pearls but check it out these are actually strung on chain let me see if you can see between the beads see it's actually strung on a gold chain and it's got little spacers in between each bead does it have a brand let's see if it has oh here we go is this also a Monet I don't know but it, it's really cool so the little tag is a little tarnished but let's see it's yeah Monet Monet so not bad you know cute little uh, white bead necklace there then this is a neat chain it's just a loop just a circle <laughs> no clasp you just throw it over your head and like loop you know loop it around if you want or just keep it really long or just maybe tie it you know at the bottom if you want a lot you can do with just a plain chain loop so that's pretty cool all right let's see what else is here this one again no brand that I can tell Hold on, the little tag has something on it, does it? No. Nope. Yes, it does. Let's see. Can you see what it says? Is it Monet also? I can't tell. Let's see. I'm looking through the phone actually because it's too close. Oh, it says silver 9 to 5, but I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe that this is silver 9 to 5. First of all, where's that metallic? metallic uh, I don't have a what do you call it magnet with me but let's see if this is oh it's not magnetic because if it's magnetic it's definitely not silver because silver is not magnetic but this is not magnetic so is it possible that it is actual silver I know this is it doesn't feel or look like silver but um, I guess there's a way to test it but I, I wouldn't if I were to sell it I would not sell it as silver I would just say you know costume jewelry what does this mark that has nine it also says nine to five huh, interesting well maybe it's worth testing it but it I really honestly don't don't think this is over so anyway there we go just to save myself the hassle I just price it at a couple of bucks and let it go check it out J crew again for jewelry I don't know how you know what the price point is on these but this is cool it's still got its tags on it and look at this clasp it's really neat it's almost nautical I want to say it looks almost like a like a boats um, what do you call it um, wheel right steering wheel yeah pretty cool there it says J crew it's like woven interesting and look how cute is this it's a little owl so it's a little it's metal and the beads are glass red glass beads cute little owl okay that's a bracelet then this one heart toggle clasp and knotted beads kind of like pearly 
it is a little tarnished on the heart but it's still a cute little piece cute little piece okay a beaded bracelet this is interesting the clasp has some sort of marking on it let's see if I can figure out what it is can I get it closer to focus I don't know can you see what it says I can't I can't see what it says let's see if I get it closer and if it'll focus Pacific mm, I can pale let's see Ah, my eyes are hurting. I don't want to spend too much time on it. So it's some sort of little brand. Um, it does feel like glass, you know, not plastic, but it's it's just a simple little red bracelet. I think it's very cute. That is wild, <laughs> literally. Let's see. Yeah, it's just an elastic um, bracelet, but how cool is that? Yeah, there's a knot. Usually with bracelets like this, what I like to do is hide the knot under one of the beads. I don't know why this one is not done that way. But anyway, it's kind of cool. It feels like paper or maybe wood beads that are painted or decoupaged on or something. Very, very lightweight. Really, really cool. <laughs> okay, what else? Ah, let's see. Oh, so this one's interesting. It is a little tarnished on this side, but check it out. It's a Vera Bradley bracelet says Vera Bradley right there on the toggle and also on the little tag which like I said is a little bit tarnished but the net the bracelet itself it says mom here the heart is also a little tarnished where it says mom but the rest of the bracelet is in nice shape I think and it's just this uh, kind of beaded not beaded um this chain that has been woven through with another type of chain <laughs> so that is really cool and I still got lots to go so I'm, I'm telling you I think I definitely got my money's worth for the $40 so here's one of these stretchy um, adjustable bracelets and it's got several little dangles on it a little tiny Eiffel Tower uh, like a little clock maybe love and a star and I don't know what the, who this little guy is if anybody knows let me know it just looks like a little monster to me but there's that and I'll see if another one well I, there's actually several ones thank you for making a difference in the lives of students oh my goodness I had this bracelet my principal gave me a bracelet like this actually all us teachers a bracelet like this one year for um, for Christmas I believe and uh yeah cool so it's got that one um charm on it and i actually see several more on here i wonder if they're the same charm yep look at that teach love inspire teachers plant seeds of knowledge so yeah they're teacher bracelets check it out so each one is different it has a different saying maybe they went together do you wear these stacked up together is that how you're supposed to do it i don't know but there's those three and then this one is just, it's very similar, not exactly the same, um, but this one has, it says Alex and A, alexanddanny.com, Alex and Danny. It says Crystal Birthstone Peridot. So yeah, that's, that's the brand on this one. And um, it's just got little things, little sayings on here, which... I'm not going to strain my eyes <laughs> to, to see. Oh, here we go. Energy and something else and a little heart flag. Cute. And it's kind of oval, the shape of this one. The others are more round. So that's those bracelets. Okay. Here's some more. Here's uh, This one looks more um, lightweight, maybe plastic and glass beads it's got a little piece bead on there it's kind of cool I'll have to decide if I want to take this apart for the beads because it does have some interesting beads on it or if I just leave it like that this one feels like stone beads I don't know what kind of stone this is, this is a green stone kind of like a moss 
It almost looks like moss. I don't know. Is there such a thing as a moss stone? <laughs> um, I used to know my stones a lot better than I do now, but I haven't been focusing on jewelry in years. And then this is cute. It's also just a little um, bracelet with small beads, crystal beads, and but it has this clasp. Is this one of these? Yeah. Box clasps that you squeeze this and then push it in there. That is really cute. Okay. This is really cute. Oh my goodness. It's got butterflies. I think this is going to have to be a keeper for me. It's got butterflies. And it just, um, and again, it's got gold accents that are wearing silver, but I don't care right now. This is a jewelry video. <laughs> cool. Butterflies. And here's another one that the cloisonne, cloisonne material inside and out it has the designs kind of like enamel I guess I don't know but it's cute oh there's where it's uh, bound together there that's like a little bangle and then this is interesting it's like a little panther with green eyes and it is also on a chain but then the chain has been macrame over that is cool and it just closes like that you pull on it to tighten it and yeah it has some tarnish on it as well but it is really cute that that is really cute so there is the bracelet so have any more bracelets maybe more will pop out here um, in a minute I think the rest in this bag are next oh here's another one check it out a fossil bracelet now that's a nice brand and it's also one of those that you just pull to adjust this feels like a leather cord right here and the gold is not tarnished that I can tell at all nice and it's got these three strands that feel like gemstones maybe yeah they feel like gemstones they don't feel like glass so that is really cool. It's a really cute bracelet. And that's actually good colors for the fall here coming up. Are we in the fall yet? We're almost there. <laughs> okay, cool. Man, bracelets galore. That was an awesome, awesome bunch of bracelets, right? So I'm put all the bracelets on this side. I got the necklace on this, necklaces on this side. I think there's more necklaces here. Let's see. Yeah, this definitely looks like a clasp. I actually have this clasp. So maybe this was handmade by somebody. Because I have a clasp just like this that I have not used. But, and then these look like freshwater pearls. Like, um, brown. Is that brown or black? They, they have like a brownish color to them. Almost like coppery. But that they definitely look like freshwater pearls. And that is a cute little necklace. You could actually use the clasp as a centerpiece in the middle there. So that's a neat little necklace. Then here is a hematite necklace. Just, um, I used to have bunches of these actually. I used to love these. But look, these are little leaves. And this one is a nice shape. It's just one of those that I think this is called a barrel clasp where you just twist this closed like this so that is cute now I know these are not very expensive but I definitely can get a couple of bucks for it it's very very pretty and then this one's interesting it's just this is a long chain let me see if it has any markings okay there's a there's a tag on it but I don't know what that symbol is if anybody knows please tell me um, it's I don't know it looks like a bird or something that's it it's just a little like I don't know a couple of dots lines or whatever so if anybody knows let tell me but it, it's either tarnished or it was intentionally this color it may have been intentionally this color because it's almost like a black metal I don't know if it's gun metal necessarily but look how cute this is it's almost like a tassel well it does have a tassel at the bottom but it's just this long um, design here. And this it's, it's cool. It's different on a long chain. 
So that's a cool necklace. So how many pieces of jewelry do I already have? Have I reached 40 pieces of jewelry yet? I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, that is cool. Now the chain I'm not too crazy about. It, it, um, it's just, the color actually isn't even bad. It's almost like copper, but it's just short. It just seems really, really short for this type of um, charm or pendant. You know, it's just copper or something, or brass even, but that's really pretty. It's really pretty. Okay, and then this one is pretty. Love the colors. It's actually perfect for this time of year too, the, you know, the fall. Very blingy. And let's see if there's any kind of marking. Oh, this is J. Crew. It says J. Crew, and it looks like it has all its stones and everything I can't see any missing very very cute so yeah I can definitely put that in my booth and okay so that is the necklaces at least the bag of necklaces that I had I'm sure more will turn up here um, actually I know a couple will turn up because um, I'll, I'll save those for the end the ones that I thought were like really cool Okay, so this bag has earrings, and actually I have to change this because these do not match. <laughs> that needs to go in my craft lot because <laughs> obviously they don't match. They don't have pairs. So, um, yeah, those are going to the craft lot, but these are awesome, these pieces. Um, these earrings are awesome to put in the middle of rosettes or to just, you know, a flower, to put this in the middle of a, maybe a fabric flower or something. Yeah, they can definitely be used for crafting and embellishing there. Um, these, look at these. Oh, hold on. I know this had the pair. Look at these. How pretty are those? Yeah, I can definitely, definitely flip those. Those are really, really cute. And it's got these lever back um, ear wires so that they are secure on your ears. And then these are pretty fun. Check that out. Another great color for this time of year coming up. Orange. My little bird keeps wanting to show itself. And it doesn't have the backings, but I have backings in my stash of jewelry supplies. So I can definitely put backs to those and sell those. How fun is that? And these are fun. Let's see. They also have the lever back uh, ear wires, and they're just little flowers. And that's a neat color combination, turquoise and red. So those are cute. Here's another small one like that. It's a little dangly. Turquoise and orange. Or is that more like peach, actually? That's cute. I wonder if those belong to the same person. These are all these little small dangles. Look at these. That is really cute. And these are just regular ear wires. Very, very cute. These are interesting, almost like a rose gold, just little balls. <laughs> balls for your ears. And it has the backs on them. Um, gold, kind of dome. I don't know if I'll be able to clean that. It looks a little dirty or tarnished. But if not, again, if I cannot get that clean, I can use them as, um, I can maybe paint it or use them as centers for fabric flowers or something. These are beautiful. I may just keep these for myself. This is kind of my style. <laughs> I like dangly earrings. Look how cute and blingy these are. That's a nice little design. Isn't that pretty? And again, it just needs the back, which I can provide. I can even just use uh, like a rubber back just to keep them on your ears. Very pretty. These are interesting, just uh, clip-ons, but they're clip-on dangles. Very interesting. See, those could easily be changed to a fish hook ear wire. Very simple, but cute couple of very simple ones here too but this these are interesting beads see how um, I don't know pimply <laughs> those beads are very cute and simple 
and here's some old pearl these might be vintage look it's got the screw back screw back um, ear wires the pearls do look a little bit I don't know either dirty or, or not faded maybe that's the color they're supposed to be I'll try to clean them gently um, but their pearl on the hook is still there and intact so those are cool those might be vintage and then these are interesting they also have kind of like that vintage look to them although I have a feeling they're not that old but they're kind of cool purple can't go wrong with purple is that all the earrings okay so that's all the earrings at least that were in this bag right here these are the bracelets I already showed you let's see what's in this bag okay I think these are more earrings maybe bigger ones yeah okay let's see what we have here check out these babies look at this oh you know what this is gonna have to go my craft lot because this one is broken it doesn't have its little wire this little wire that goes over here it doesn't have it so I will either need to figure out a way to put a wire in there or I'll just have to use these as craft supplies and I'm thinking I could clip those off and maybe even hook these on a necklace or something I don't know I could think of something to do with these it might be fun so for now it's gonna have to go in the craft supply pile because one of them is missing its wire and then these I don't know if this is supposed to actually go inside the hole there talk about ear hoops <laughs> <laughs> that is an ear hoop and it is rhinestone all around Ooh, there's some bonus hair in here yikes okay so I'll put that with the earrings because they are earrings and then here's another one just little seed bead loopy earrings let's see yep that looks like it may have been almost like a paparazzi type item also and okay this will go in the craft lock because there's only one of these yep and then these check it out copper hoops interesting a little tarnish I'll see if I can get them cleaned and then just silver hoops just your basic silver hoop again see if I can get it cleaned if not I might have to go in the craft lock so there's some more earrings there let's see what else do I have? I think these are also earrings. Lots of earrings. Okay, check these out. These are interesting. And I think that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they. I, I'll try to sell them as is in my booth because they are interesting. And if they don't sell, again, there would be nice elements maybe in the middle of a bow or something right okay then there's these another interesting pair there and again they just need the backs one of them needs a back I'll probably just get two matching backs here's a couple of those this is wasn't there a silver one like this this is more like a brownish color cool and this one does have both of them have it the back these are interesting oh check it out that is the back or is it the front that is the back of the earring have you ever seen anything like this that is different so that's the earring and that's the back because I can't imagine this being the earring and that being the back wow that is very interesting Let me know if you've seen anything like this before. I had not. <laughs> I mean, would you want to have big balls in the back of your ears? Okay, here's a couple of little rhinestone balls. The backs don't match, so I would just change the, the back so that they match. And let's see. Here's, uh, this looks like a, maybe a handcrafted one looks like they're strung on string 
but I really like that square bead that looks unique and different to me so I may I'll probably try to sell them as it is and if they don't sell in a while I may just remake another pair of earrings using those beads I like them a uh, couple of just four leaf flower looks like a tarnished brass can't tell this might have to go in the craft lot because it I don't know is it supposed to be like that it just looks really really worn and old so I'll keep it with the pair of earrings because they are both there these are definitely very tarnished so I might just use them in crafting but hey I got the pair so, and again, I have to put matching backs on those. Gold circles. <laughs> Plain gold circles. That's interesting. And again, uh, they do have their matching backs, I think. Yeah, that's cool. And then these, there's four of them. So, I guess, I guess these two go together because they have more blue in them. And these two go together go together or maybe I don't know it's hard to tell from the four which two go together I think these two go together and those two go together but they are nice opal I, I I don't think it's a real opal but opal style you know just stud and yeah I have to match up the backs on these yeah really cute okay there's those earrings there are a lot of earrings. Here's some more. Ooh, still got lots to go. So this is a long video. I apologize. But if you're enjoying it, give me a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more of these because I am tempted to buy more. <laughs> I'm really, really liking what I see here. Okay, so this my. Oh, sorry, that's my laundry. Okay, so this is my craft lot. There's a lot of missing stones on that one. I think none of these have pairs. If they do, they're just not anything spectacular. Okay, this is a pair, but see, this one's pulling up. It's got that pulling up. Um, that's actually a pendant, but it doesn't have, you know, a chain or anything. So I need to find that a chain, but that's really pretty, that pendant. This also, it's got, a, uh, it's like a little pendant. It's got just one of these little hooks on it. So, yeah, just nice little pieces, this little cross. Um, I don't see any pairs of things here. Here's a um, tangled chain. It says, I love you, Mom. So, yeah, just little random things. Little bow earring. This has, uh, it's almost like a button. It's got a safety pin through it. But that is definitely good for crafting these right here. That earring, it might be a good center for a bowl, right? So these are some of the ideas of the things that I would do with some of these odds and ends. Centers for bows, embellishments, flowers. This could be in a dangle, like in a, in a tassel or just change the hook for a ball pin and attach it to a journal you know so yeah that's what these are these are the craft lot or the broken jewelry or earrings without pairs um and again there's some really cute pieces in there some of them i just need to find like this i could just find a chain and it's a nice little necklace others i just have to figure out what to do with them make something with them Okay, so these will go over there too because these are broken. Okay, so, um, oh, did I show you these? If I did, sorry for repeating it, but I don't think I have. Just these large bangles. So I probably will sell these as a lot um, because I don't see, you know, paying or selling them individually. So I do think that these went together for sure because they're the same, but they're just different colors. And then maybe a couple of these also went together. Or maybe they all went together. 
I don't know, but I'm going to have, I'm going to lot them all together, all these bangles that came in this, um, in this jewelry lot. So there is that. And this is probably my favorite thing. Did I already say I had a favorite thing? Yeah, the ring, right? This is my, my favorite thing. But here's my other favorite thing is these pins. Oh my goodness. This has got to be my favorite pin in here. Is that gorgeous? I'm not selling this one. I'm keeping this one and just looking at it and hoarding it for a while because it is so pretty. I love, love, love it. If I were to sell this one, I think I would probably put at least like $20 on it. Although, look, it does have a brand, Weiss. So I don't know if that's worth maybe more or there's something significant. I'm going to look it up. But just off the top of my head, just looking at it like this, I would say this alone is worth at least 20 bucks. Wouldn't you say? It's beautiful. So that's half of what I paid for this entire lot already. Then this I just thought was interesting. Let's see what brand it is. Dali something. Can you tell what it says there? Dali Joe? Jolie's? Can't tell. But it's interesting. Dolly. Yeah, it's signed Dolly. So I'll have to look it up too. But it's just a very interesting, almost like it's a heart. It's like a heart shaped. But um, it's just different. <laughs> Maybe a broken heart or bursting heart. I don't know. <laughs> There's that one. Then this one is kind of like, um, it looks very vintage. It's missing one stone right here. But... It's also very pretty. This one's also very pretty. Oh, let me see if this had a marking. I don't see a marking on it. Then this is really pretty. Almost looks like a coin. I don't think it's missing any stones. And this one is a D DVD. <laughs> DVA? I don't know. DVD. I might look this one up as well. It's, it's cute. And this is really interesting too. It's like a little kilt pin and a tiny little pendant that looks like it has a, I was going to say a peacock, but the tail is too small to be a peacock, but it's some sort of little bird and it's just gold on the back. So that's cool and interesting. Oh, these are earrings. This pendant or pin is let's see what it says if it has a brand maybe this way something written on there for sure where is it um uh, metro me, millenni m tent tenji i had it right the other way i can't tell michelle millenni let me know if you know what this is. It's cute. It's just, uh, actually, my friend said it looked like a unicorn horn, doesn't it? <laughs> it sure does. I don't know if it's supposed to be a shell or something, but um, that's really cool. Oh, I think I saw this in the um, in the craft lot. I think it's um, an ear wire. So maybe I have a pair of these earrings. And it's neat because it's got, like, numbers all over it, like, stamped all over it. So let me put it with the craft lot, and if I find the pair, I might just make earrings out of that. Okay, finishing up with the pins. That's an interesting pin. Um, again, I don't see a marking, but it's just kind of cute. And then bows are always nice. Now this one is missing a stone, so I'll have to try and maybe find one for it. But that would be nice like to close up a journal, right? Or a scarf. All right. Oh, here's a set. This is actually, so those are pins and this is actually a set. It's a pendant and the earrings match. Exactly. So it's like these three things are exactly the same. One is a pendant and the other two are earrings. And let me see if I find any markings on it. Nope, no markings on this at all but it's a cute little set and then what is this ooh this is neat it's just a little pendant 
on a chain and again it's a bit tarnished let's see if there's any markings no, no markings and it looks like it's tangled up up there but i know that i can get that untangled for sure so that's cute and different simple all right so that is all of the um cool items just um in in groups but if that wasn't enough if you don't think i've gotten my 40 dollars worth yet wait until you see this let me move this over if that wasn't enough what i've already shown you i think this definitely makes it worth what i paid and i'm so happy now there's no guarantee that in these lots you will get anything that's precious stone or anything that's worth anything you know other than you know costume jewelry but these are silver and they are they're a little bit tarnished but i can definitely tell they're silver they feel like silver they are marked 925 i believe mm -mm -mm. somewhere i saw that they were marked yep the ear wire the ear wire is marked 925 you see it and they are oh i want to say malachite is that the name of this stone this green stone that has those um stripes on it maybe not again i've forgotten most of my stones but i want to say it's malachite or something like that aren't those beautiful sterling sterling silver earrings and this sterling silver necklace again if it feels like silver it's marked right there a silver and it's got all these little charms hanging from them and each of the charms is also marked so if you didn't think all the other costume jewelry was enough there's also this now it's not a set they're definitely not they don't go together but they are definitely neat pieces and i am just really happy with this lot so there's also this bag which i'm not going to untangle now but you can tell it's a big tangled mess of different um chains and beads that i can use in crafting and there was also this little bit that is um there's like some religious images on that uh, necklace and then this let me see what this one was uh was this broken no this one was also an interesting little necklace just um let's see the dangle was kind of interesting because it's kind of dangling off to one side let's see yeah and it's just a really long necklace that's the dangle and Let's see, it's got an H in the tag. So I don't know what brand or whatever that is. If you know, please, please do tell me. But there's that. Whew, was that everything? I believe that was everything. Yes, those are the earrings, the craft lot, the bracelets, necklaces. So what do you think? I think I can definitely make my money back on this lot and maybe even make some money from it. Um, if you are interested in any of the pieces um, that I have shared, um, you can please feel free to email me and make me an offer. Um, I am going to go ahead and price some of these and put them in my booth right away. But if um, you let me know that you're interested in it and I've already put it in my booth, I will go check to make sure it hasn't sold and um, you know, go ahead and, uh, we can work something out. Um, yeah, so I am uploading this video today. It is Saturday. Um, and, um, I'm not going to be putting things from here in my booth probably until Monday. So let's do that because I still have to price things and I wanted to get some things in there, but it's already getting late. <laughs> it's going to take me some time to tag and all. So if you can get in touch with me between today and tomorrow, which is Sunday, um, then uh, let me know and I'll be happy to uh, make a deal with you. Okay. Um, 
also if you're interested in my paparazzi jewelry i can also make a video about that and you know i can try to sell those to you as well that i i probably don't want to put in the booth just because it's you know a specific brand and um i don't know that you know they would want that but maybe i'll just ask them <laughs> all right enough of my yapping it's been one hour exactly as i say this and um if you've stuck with me for this long um, tell you what, if you stuck with me for this long, if you've actually watched the whole video, um, leave me a message and I will do a little giveaway. I will pick uh, an item from here. I haven't decided what yet. And um, I might even let you choose something. Um, but, um, I will do a little giveaway of an item from this lot. Okay. And, um, yeah, let me get out of here because I'm tired. You're probably tired, <laughs> but it sure was fun. Wasn't it? <laughs> I hope you, I hope you think so. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.